I'm always on your left. Shoota Gretchen, pwede ba gawin mo na lang? I'm gonna show you how you can edit yourself into your favorite movies in After Effects. And we're starting right now. Game. The first part is recreating the background of the curtains behind Regina George. So I took some screenshots of the scene and placed it in Photoshop. So within Photoshop, I use the clone stamp tool to recreate the background para maging super identical siya sa background from the scene. Para we can place the background layer behind me when I'm gonna act na as Regina George. And I also noticed because Katie was moving in the background. She was fixing herself while Regina George was talking. So it will be extremely difficult for us to recreate that exact same scene in the background playing. So I'll just choose another part of the scene wherein mas hindi siya gumagalaw and mask that part so that I can place that sa background. So what I'll do is click on the pen tool or letter G for the shortcut of the pen tool and then just create a mask around KD so that just that part will be seen. And then what I can do is increase the feather para mag blend yung background ni KD dyan sa scene na yan, sa background na ilalagay ko. Ayun. So now that we have our background, it's time for me to recreate Regina's parts in the scene. And as a mean girl myself, <laughs> joke lang. I'm not a mean girl, pero it was really hard that to set up everything. Eh, ako lang naman gumagawa ng lahat. So, ganito yung pag-set up ko ng scene when I was acting. <laughs> Lord, ang gulo ng room, so don't mind that. <laughs> so, I had to set up my green screen in the background so that I can easily key out or crop myself out in After Effects. <laughs> ang pangit ng setup ko kasi sinamit ko lang sa bintana namin kasi wala naman akong clap, di ba? So, do it yourself, DIY. Bahala na, di ba? I mean, maayos naman yung kinalabasan. And of course, I had to light up the green screen in the background with a ring light. Para it's easier to key out um, in After Effects kasi if it were any darker, mas mahirap siya detect ng key light within After Effects. So in coming up with this setup, I had to make sure that the lighting in the scene also matches the lighting in my setup. So I noticed na mas maraming highlights dito sa likod nila dahil sa stage lights na nasa likod ng stage. Kasi yung nasa harap nila curtain, so syempre walang masyadong ilaw. So sa setup ko rin, doon ko nilagay yung ring light ko sa may, sa may dito sa likod ng face ko. Para habang nagsasalita ako, this part of my face will be lit up and may konting shadows lang here and medyo lit up pa rin siya. And I also noticed na meron parang red light na nagsashine sa face nila kasi medyo may pagka-red hue yung harap ng face nila. So what I did was I taped a cartolina sa harap ng mirror and nilagay ko talaga siya sa pinakaharap ko para mag-reflect yung red ng cartolina sa mukha ko habang nag-perfilm ako. So sa afternoon, I just filmed pa ulit, ulit until I got the perfect shot. So, and I just had my phone sa kamay ko para i-play lang siya ng paulit, ng paulit, ng paulit para ma-memorize ko siya and ma- ma-internalize ko rin yung voice, yung tone, yung attitude, and yung acting ni Regina George, di ba? Once we have all of our footage, we can now import all of them in After Effects. Of course, we have the original footage from Mean Girls. And then we have the curtain background and the KD background. So, habang nagsasalita yung green screen footage, which is me, makikita natin sa background yung curtains, saka si KD na umagalaw para mukhang realistic siya. So first, what we have to do is to remove the green screen from the background. So we um, drag the key light effect to our layer and then use the eyedropper tool and then click on the green of the background and then let's clean that up a little bit by increasing the flip black and decreasing the flip white and then after that we create a mask sa layer natin, sa actor natin, which is Martin George. Para, yun na lang yung makikita sa screen. But of course, as you can see, sa pinaka-first scene, naka-akbay rin si Gretchen kay Regina George. So what we can do is to create a mask to separate Gretchen as a layer para malagay natin siya sa taas ng uh, layer ko para mukhang naka-akbay siya sa akin. So we have to click this layer and then click on the pen tool and then just create a mask around Gretchen. We have to keyframe this mask path. So every time gumalaw si Gretchen, kailangan gumagalaw rin yung mask natin. Para mukhang nakaakbay sa akin si Gretchen, di ba? Kasi yung elbow and yung shoulder na nakalagay sa dapat na sa taas ng layer natin. So now that we masked out Gretchen frame by frame, we 
we're gonna have something like this. So as you can see, makikita lang si Gretchen na nakalagay yung arm niya sa shoulder ni Regina George. And from there, we can have her arm be placed on my shoulder naman. So what we can do to know the exact position of the actor is to get the original video and then lower down the opacity so that we can see where we'll place exactly Martin George. And of course, the last thing that we can do is to match the color of the actor that we're gonna put in the scene to the scene itself and the background. Diba? Para mas mong realistic siya, siya. So let's add a Lumetti color to this layer and then basically just play with the um, color collection of the um, Lumetti colors. So we have to play with the exposure, the contrast, the saturation. So ayan yung color natin mukhang nasa scene na talaga tayo. <laughs> Uh, Gretchen, pwede ba magpalit kayo ni Katie? But I'm always on your left. Well, that it. Tatlo lang tayo. Mas matangkat sa'yo si Katie. Susyo na ngayon sa gitna. But the whole dance will be backwards. I'm always on your left. Shoot ha, Gretchen. Pwede ba gawin mo na lang? And that's basically it. So comment down below what other effects you want to see. And if you want to learn more and see more of me, click the like and subscribe button down below. And check out my other videos right here.